Hello, today we are going to discuss the different world biomes. Before we begin today's lesson, I'm going to show you how to open and save the notes and quiz worksheets. Begin by opening your 7th grade ecology folder. Here you will find the quiz and notes worksheet. Open the notes worksheet first. As you can see, you're only allowed to enter text into the designated areas. You simply click on the answer and then type in your answer. After completing the entire worksheet, go to File, Save As, and you save it as your last name first, underscore, World Biomes Notes, and then click Save. You'll do the same thing for the quiz, but for the quiz, instead of inserting your text, you're going to select your answer from a drop-down menu. After completing every single question, you'll do the same thing, File, Save as your last name, underscore, the world's biome quiz, and save. Now that you know how to open your notes worksheet, we will begin discussing the different biomes. The first biome we're going to discuss is the rainforest biome. The rainforest is home to the largest number of plant and animal species in a concentrated area. The largest rainforest is the Amazon rainforest. The Amazon is located in South America with 60% presiding in Brazil. The climate of the rainforest is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The rainforest receives 100 to 150 inches of rainfall every year. The rainforest is very warm and humid. There are billions of trees and flowers that grow in the rainforest. These trees tend to be very tall. The rainforest is home to a wide variety of wildlife. There are millions of different species of mammals, reptiles, amphibians, and birds. The rainforest can be found along, mainly along the equator belt, such as South America, Central America, Africa, or Southeast Asia. The next terrestrial biome is the tundra biome. The tundra biome is extremely uniform. The tundra is located at the top of the world near the North Pole. Tundras contain permafrost, which is permanently frozen soil. The climate of the tundra is annually about 15 degrees Fahrenheit. The tundra receives less than 10 inches of rainfall each year. A tundra is very cold and dry. There are very few trees on the tundra, mainly grasses and shrubs. The variety of wildlife on the tundra is very limited due to the harsh conditions. Certain wildlife include caribou, wolves, owls, arctic hares, polar bears, brown bears, birds, and butterflies. The next biome is the coniferous forest biome, which is also known as the taiga biome. The taiga is the largest of the terrestrial biomes. Moscow and Toronto are two major cities located in a coniferous biome. The average annual temperature of, it, of the taiga is 25 degrees Fahrenheit. The taiga receives 12 to 33 inches of rainfall each year. A coniferous forest experiences long winters and short summers. The winters are very harsh with temperatures as low as negative 17 degrees Fahrenheit. The taiga is covered in evergreens and can be homogeneous for miles with very little diversity. Many of the wildlife migrate south or hibernate for the winter in the taiga. Such wildlife can include the bald eagle, the black bear, caribou, white-tailed deer, wolf, or the arctic fox. The next biome is the deciduous forest biome. The deciduous forest biome is the only biome with four distinct seasonal changes. The deciduous forest is located in the eastern United States, Canada, Europe, China, and Japan. The average annual temperature of the deciduous forest is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit with 30 to 35 inches of rainfall each year. There are a variety of trees in the deciduous forest, such as the oak, maple, beech, and hickory tree. The deciduous forest contains wildlife such as the bald eagle, black bears, coyotes, platypuses, chipmunks, weasels, and white-tailed deer. The next terrestrial biomes is the grasslands. The grasslands are known for being an endless ocean of grass. The African savanna is also included in the grasslands. The average annual temperature of the grasslands is about 53 degrees Fahrenheit. 
The grasslands receive about 10 to 20 inches of rainfall each year. The grasslands have mild summer and winters. The majority of the vegetation in the grasslands consists of grasses or small trees. The majority of the wildlife in the grasslands consists of large herds of grazing animals such as zebras, bisons, rhinos, or ox. The grasslands can be found on either side of the two desert belts. The major grasslands are in the western United States and eastern Europe. The last of the terrestrial biomes is the desert biome. There are two types of desert biomes, the cold desert and the hot desert. Antarctica is the largest cold desert and the Sahara Desert is the largest hot desert. The average annual temperature of a cold desert is about negative 39 degrees Fahrenheit. The average annual temperature of a hot desert is about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Deserts are known for their harsh areas that receive very little rainfall. As you can see by this background image, deserts are not necessarily hot. There are very little vegetation that grow on both types of deserts. Cactus and sand can be found in hot deserts. The species differ in the types of deserts. Cold deserts have animals such as penguins, while hot deserts have animals such as camels. Now we will discuss the aquatic biomes. The first aquatic biome is the marine biome. The marine biome is the largest aquatic biome. Marine biome takes up 75% of the Earth's surface. It contains only salt water, meaning only the oceans. The vegetation found in the oceans are coral reefs or seaweed. There are a vast number of species of wildlife in the oceans, such as octopus, fish, sharks, or whales. The last biome we are going to discuss is the freshwater biome. The freshwater biome includes ponds, lakes, streams, and rivers. Ponds and streams tend to be seasonal due to the drying out in the summer season. The different aquatic plants that grow in the freshwater biome include duckweed, water lilies, and hydrillas. There are different wildlife in freshwater biomes. Streams contain fish such as salmon and trout, while lakes contain fish, frogs, snakes, and birds. And now we have completed the lesson of the different world biomes. You should have now completed the notes worksheet. Before you begin the quiz, I want to show you how to submit your assessments via email. First, open your 7th grade science ecology folder. Here you should see your world biome notes and quiz that you have completed with your last name. Open Safari with your email open. Select New. And then you will type in the address of who you want it to send. And my email is april.couch at ttu.edu. To attach the attachments, you simply click the attachment. It looks like a paper clip. Click the attachment file. You will then select the desktop, your 7th grade ecology folder, and the notes and quiz with your name before it. As you can see, both assessments are attached, and all you do is click Send. You have now completed the Ecology World Biomes lesson. You have 24 hours to submit the notes and quiz assessment. Thank you.